สวัสดีครับ This is Mark. We meet again. If we trace back in 2007, at that time, when we had the old Apple TV at the time, when someone came into the stores and asked me about the definition of the Apple TV, I would always reply, "Apple TV is an iTunes-based device. It's like a big iPod hooked up to your television." But this time, the definition of the Apple TV has been changed, because the Apple TV in 2010 doesn't have a hard drive anymore. So, for my opinion, I would call it streaming without cable clutter. Okay, why did they call Apple TV streaming without cable clutter? Because the things that we can do using the Apple TV 2010 actually you don't need Apple TV 2010. You can still hook up your Existing Mac to your television and do the thing that Apple TV does. Okay, but if you need small tiny box sits right next to your television, high definition television set, hidden somewhere, without cable clutters from your computers to that, I think Apple TV might be the right answer or wrong answer after you have watched this review. Um, let's speculate on two good things about the new Apple TV. Apart from it's incredibly cheap, it's only 99 US dollars, and um, secondly, it's very small and quiet. Okay, uh, Apple could make it small and quiet because this time they didn't have to put hard drive into it. And um, I think it's a great, great device for doing photo slideshow. Okay, when you invite your friends to your to your house, okay, you invite your cousin or friends and you gather them around in your living rooms. You can stream your photo library from your Mac, or even your iTunes um, library, or even from your Flix account or MobileMe account directly to your HD television set. So you can enjoy the best possible experience showing them slideshow like you've been. Having good times on your vacation or something, okay. And um, if you already purchased, I mean, you have purchased some movies and saved them on your iTunes library, you can stream those purchased movies from your iTunes libraries to your television wirelessly, and you can enjoy watching them in bigger screens, okay. Actually, you you can do this also by hooking up. Your Macs with your television directly using HDMI cable or um, DVI cable, and uh, this time the Apple TV fully support um, the 5.1 digital Dolby system for sound, which is the good news for us to get the most of the sound experience. And uh, the thing that I I I want Apple to to get it done in a better way is. To prolong the periods of watching rented movie, for instance, um, in general, after we we rent movie from from the iTunes store, we get 30 days to store that movie and watch it and untouch it. Okay, but after we have start watching, okay, that movie, we have 24 hours left to watch the movie again, and then the movie will be terminated. Okay. I, I would suggest Apple should prolong that 24 hours up to two or three days. I mean, concerning the price of that 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 movies that we can rent, I think um, 24 hours is still too expensive for that price. You have to pay five US dollars per one movie, the new release HD movie. So it's still quite expensive though for me. And um, the good thing about Apple TV that I like the most is it allows us to use our existing iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad as remote control. But wait a minute, these types of services is not available yet. We have to wait a bit longer, in a couple of weeks from now. Okay, and um, if you like watching videos on YouTube. Or if you like to listen to internet radios, this time Apple TV is a great device for you. Okay, so I think 99 US dollars might be a great deal. Might be a great deal. Even though you can do all of this using your Mac, and then you 
just use the Apple remote, just buy the, the cheap Apple remote and then go to front row menus and hook up, but that's fine. And um, okay, so I have explained all about the good things of the new Apple TV 2010. So let me go deeper into something that needs to be improved. First, uh, the Apple TV doesn't have a hard drive. And um, second, this time the Apple TV is not like the old one. The new Apple TV 2010, it doesn't support component cable. So, unless you have a big HD TV set, you can use the Apple TV because it's not compatible with any of those bulky television with components connectivity. So if your television doesn't have HDMI cable, you can buy the new Apple TV 2010 or throw money away. And thirdly, um, you know what? When I want to do any reveal, I'm not just meditation and think about all the specification and detail. I have to do my homework first. And then, before I have done this reveal, I have read almost 100 pages of websites and comments about the new Apple TV. You know, uh, there are some people that I think they have my sympathy. There are the existing Apple TV customers. And someone asked me, Mark, why didn't Apple allow the existing Apple TV customers to upgrade the existing firmware. So if I decide to buy the new Apple TV, what I'm going to do with the old Apple TV that I already, already have? So that's the point. And um, okay, now would be international concern. You know what? Um, the Netflix service is only available in the United States. You know what, two days ago, there were two, two French guy came into my Apple store in Asia Pacific, in Thailand. And the guy shout in the store, the, the guy said, well, I hate Apple TV because it, the Netflix is not in French. So why did Apple, I mean, launch the Apple TV throughout the world without the support for the Netflix throughout the world too. Who will be responsible for this concern? Okay. And uh, at the time, well, I, I paused and then I listened to the guy without interruptions and then I tried to, well, give him good detail about the Apple TVs and everything, and then well, we became friends and then finished them. So the Apple TV doesn't support Netflix outside the United States. And um, there is another concern that I seem to, but I don't blame Apple for this, I kind of understand. Um, people, some people from, from, from other countries, they send me mails and they ask me about why didn't Apple TV comes with the HDMI cable in the package? Because I bought the Apple TV from the Apple store and then when I got home, because at the time when I was at the Apple retail store, um, I had forgotten to, to check the package contents and I thought that was um, the HDMI cable inside so I had to drive back to the shopping malls and find the HDMI cable Apple supposed to put HDMI cable inside the Apple TV package. Probably it's maybe one and a half meters or something. Well, I would reply like, um, what can I say? It's pretty much like when someone asked me about why didn't Apple put the Apple remote into the MacBook Pro package? Because if, if, if they have put that particular remote, the price would have cost you more than that. So if they have put up the um, HDMI cable in the Apple TV package. So the Apple TV would have cost you even more than 99 US. So yet they couldn't make that price of that remote, control, uh, sorry, the HDMI cable. So sometimes Apple had to strip down some, well, unnecessary component. They assume that you might already have HDMI. Of course, we have HDMI cable, but 
it might be occupied with other devices like DVD player or something. But this time I quite pretty upset a bit about this because when we were buying, uh, let's say Pioneer DVD players or whatever um, uh, electronics media components, uh, in general we, we usually get some cable with that, right? But for the Apple TV, it doesn't come with any cable. So after you watch my reveals, to make sure it's after you bought the Apple TV from the Apple stores in your country, I mean, in your neighborhood, the, the nearest one, don't forget to go and buy HDMI cable also, okay? Because the Apple TV doesn't come with HDMI cable. And uh, lastly, I think that the time period after we, we bought the, I mean, we ran the movie from the iTunes store is supposed to be longer than 24 hours. It's supposed to be like probably two or three days. I think it would be fair. Or, you know what, those nice customers will move on and, it, and they won't rent any movie from iTunes store. They will do something else. They might uh, buy any um, pirate DVD. Um, I got a friend from Philippines and he sent me pirate DVD. He bought it like um, 50 cents per one one HD DVD for four hours of um, Fox series and something. Um, I'm not trying to persuade you to buy Pirates copy, but well, we have to do win-win strategy here also, right? If the, I mean, the vendors of these types of media contents, if they don't want people to buy Pirates contents, okay, so they have to lower the price a bit, okay, lentral price or buying price of that media. So that's the bottom line. So for me personally, um, if you might want to buy the Apple TV, it's a great device and you might get something from my clips, okay? I'll be back shortly. Thanks for watching.